first of all i'm going to prepare a batter for korma and for that i need some yogurt and some dry spices here i have added around 4 tablespoons of yogurt in this i am going to add 1 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste 1 tablespoon of coriander powder 1 teaspoon of fennel powder and 2 tablespoons of korma masala that i have prepared at home and 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds powder We have to mix it and make a batter. Our batter is almost ready. You can see the texture. Now in this I am going to add some salt. You can add according to your taste. Here I am adding half teaspoon of salt. And I have used homemade korma masala that I have prepared with whole spices, all the whole spices like uh, peppercorns, cloves, cinnamon sticks, um, coriander seeds, cumin seeds, uh, black cardamoms, green cardamoms, mace. But you can use the one that is available with you or you can use the ready-made korma masala also. Now keep it aside. Here I have taken around uh, 600 grams of mutton. I have taken it with bones. You can see. You can increase or decrease the quantity according to you. Now in this I am going to add the prepared batter. And I have fried the onions. You can crush it with your hands. Or you can blend it also. But you, I need thick gravy. So I will crush it with the help of my hands. Now I'm going to add around 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil. Now mix everything together so that all the spices will mix nicely. Now keep it aside for about uh, 15 minutes and after 15 minutes we are going to cook it. I have transferred the mutton into a pot. Now I am going to cook it on high flame for about 10 minutes till it emits water. After 10 minutes we will slow down the flame and cook it until the meat is tender. It will take around you know 20 to 25 minutes. After 25 minutes we will check it. After 20 minutes let's see. At this stage, I am adding around 2 tablespoons of crushed fried onions. Now mix it. All the water has dried up. I will add around 1 glass of water. Mix everything together. Now we will keep it on low flame for more 10 minutes. Our korma is just ready. You can see beautiful color. I am going to add around 1 big tablespoon of ghee. Our korma is just ready. It looks perfect. Now in this I am going to add rose water. Just 1 tablespoon of rose water. It will enhance the flavor of korma. This step is very important. Now it's ready to serve. Delicious mouth watering mutton korma is ready. Now you can enjoy it with roti. Please friends do try this recipe and let me know your feedback in the comment section. 
and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel sweet and salty